It's all long as shit. I can't help it. I've been obsessed lately with short focal length. What is up guys? McAbee Speed coming at ya. Getting back to the king of production air guns in 72 caliber today. Gen 1 12 gauge 72 caliber Zeus from AEA courtesy of Terry Fox at Fox Air Power. We've got the KRS-SC.com slug line up here for us today and we've got a ton of targets out there. Also going to go ahead and see if we can't smash through a cast iron skillet. I think that that's pretty much been one of the things that's a benchmark not only in the air gunning community but firearms community as well. Based on the fact that this makes firearm horsepower levels, I think it's a completely applicable test and we're going to see what happens today. I've got basically the entire product line from KRS-SC.com here with me today and it could not be more cleanly crafted. I'm telling you guys, look at this. Just take this 875 grain solid for example, I mean look at that thing. Today we've got 600 grain all the way through 875 grain online to test, and I cannot wait to see what the accuracy of each of these different rounds is gonna be. Without wasting any time, gentlemen, let's get right into it with the absolute heaviest slugs that I have, the 875s. Now just to note for you guys at home, we are sighted in fairly well 10 ring style for that 25 yard mark, but I've never shot this gun to 50 yards. It's the first time for everything and there's no time like the present. Seems like a good day to do it. Let's get into it. Okay. We're going to be going to the left hand side target out there. Big bad 875 krs-sc.com slug, not wanting to really feed, forcing it. Probably gonna lend itself to a real good seal. Left side target, 50 yards, 875s, and fire ring. That's badass. That's badass. Hey. That's a lot of power. That's a lot of power, honestly. Yeah, me too. No, I'm probably going to get ripped in the comments for not having the uh, FPS and FPE and energy and all those things. But you know what? Honestly, this is more of an accuracy segment. And in life, if you don't like something, don't look. These 875s are just working. I will, I will notice though, if you guys can see this right here in the breech, I have to force load them with the bolt every single time. If that's the accuracy I get out of it, I don't care. I mean, as a matter of fact, based on the fact that we did so good on that accuracy, I'm just gonna try and kill that cinder block. I got a piece of that. I can't believe it, but I got a piece of that. We're going again. Possible. Let's go ahead and see if we need to tether. Alright. Now, even though this thing is fairly prone to valve dumping on me, as we've seen in a previous video, I am going to go ahead and leave this bitch tethered. For the good of all parties watching at this point. I feel like I'm not proving anything to you if I keep missing the cinder blocks, however, so we're going to go ahead and put it back on that left-hand side target. 
If it valve dumps, hang on. <laughs> if it valve dumps, I will say that I. Hell yeah. Fuck. That was so much more powerful than that third shot. Good God. Cinder block, let's go. Oh, it's fucking sideways now. Can I push it in further? This gun means nothing to me. For sure that's on footage. Hey, you know what? KRSSC.com connecting at 50 yards. Hell yeah, brother. Oh man, that's a good ass feeling. I have to try and do the same thing to the steel torsos. I can't not. I mean, this is amazing. Okay, red target, left side. You just to the right, you nicked it. I did, and I blew that backer out on my target stand. I'm gonna kill that target stand if I'm not careful. Yeah. Man, this thing makes big holes. All right, down and back, camera move. 50 yards, wind coming directly at me, like an onslaught of enemy forces. Time to give them hell on the cast iron skillet. <sighs> AFI ring! I don't think we went through. I don't think we went through. Oh, it did it! Oh, oh, hell yeah, it did it! Look at that! Yo, it makes the holy hole. That's what's up. I was like, I see grass behind there, dude. Woo! -hoo. Yes, I did. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. Next test. 870 grain hollow points up next. This is exciting. You know, I always kind of like talk shit about this gun. Like, it's unpleasant to shoot. And I'm tired of getting kicked by a freight train every time I pull the trigger. But this is fun. Don't tell the haters. I mean, I like this thing. Right side target. Fire. Jesus. Woo. Sounded hardcore. This one did not slip in that. Oh, there it goes. So a little bit different on the point of impact, and it does appear as if I may have gone ahead and KIA'd my target stand. Let's see if we can use the information we're gathering to go ahead and kill that cinder block that's trying to hide out behind it. We need to ensure that. All day long. That shit gives me the fizz hardcore. That is absolutely incredible. Big power, big energy, big bullets. Hell yeah, brother.
Is it precise enough to go ahead and hit those steel torsos though? I mean, I missed those with the last round. Okay, like they kind of, I did kind of clip it a little tiny bit, but not, not really. I turned my good target stand into toothpicks. <laughs> Look at the splinters. Oh yeah. Damn. I guess you have a second one over there. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and see what's up. Back to the target board and firing. I feel like I have to try and shoot that yellow target just based on the fact that it's pretty much hey diddle diddle right down the middle every single time so far, even at risk to my own stand. Thing's already dead anyways. No? Before I go ahead and recock this, I'm gonna go ahead and set something up. Oh, damn it! I killed that thing good! What the fuck was you expect a 308 going through the fat side of a baseball bat to do? Oh. oh, no, the target stand. Target stand is all is all over. And that ring. Way bigger hole. Way bigger. Look at that one. The hollow point hit hard. Damn. Hella cool. This tank sure is working good. Next up today, we got those 680 grain Paradox style slugs, boys. Let's get into it. Right hand side target. Fire. It makes a holy hole. I love it, I love it, I love it. I need a counter for how many times I say that in this episode, but I love it. Big hole, boys. These 600s. These 680s slide into the breach real nice. I feel like the footage is gonna show me horribly blinking, flinching, and then pulling it off like this. Slow motion here. Just do better this time. Don't be afraid of it, don't be a pussy. Fire. See? See? Follow through and a lack of pussification and all of a sudden we connect. Holy shit. I'm gonna slap that red character I've been fucking with all day. Oh, it's got a hole 
killing it. Dude, heart shot hole, bro. We pounded through that plate. Yo, I can't, I can't not do that again. I have got to do that again. 680 grains is apparently screaming butt naked speed, even though I have no crony for you in this episode. Ah, don't like it, don't look, but man, these are screaming. I'm gonna need to look in the mirror, but I might have just chipped something on my left side up here. You know, ever since I found out about the full crown thing, I haven't really given a shit. I didn't know they could do that. You could go in with a f***ed up grill, and in one day, you could walk out with all new teeth in one piece. They just put it right the f*** in. Yep. And I, was, I was shocked. I, at that point, like, I, I wasn't that concerned anymore. Red character, right side. Damn it, it's gonna be two target backers get killed today, huh? I do hear the Zeus leaking like a sieve out of my transfer port as it has done so many times in the past. <sighs> AEA, you guys gotta do something about this valve pin issue, I'm telling you. I mean, realistically, how many times has this happened in my videos, guys? Help me out. Serious, serious horsepower. Leaking or not, she's still pretty much a bad day for anything I point this at. Look at that, I can't even push on that board, it'll come apart. Look at that, through the steel, through the board, out the back side of the board, splintering my two by four to death, clearly penetrating, no fake news. Let's see if we can find a slug. Holy shit, that's horsepower. I have no idea. It's like a needle in a haystack. That's insanity. We have not had success with anything pretty much getting through on its own power when it comes to plate steel like these torso targets. Today wasn't a good day for that target. All right, guys, last round we're gonna be testing today. We got these badass fire hydrant style rounds, 600 grains in weight. Once again, krs-sc.com, that's where I source these from. And they are performing in spades today. Absolutely knocking it out of the park. Right side target. Fire. Low left. So far, this is the farthest off the initial point of aim that we have seen. They're also extremely loosey-goosey in the breach. I'll take it. Ah, I'll take it. <sighs> Let's see if we can go ahead and take a couple of more shots and see if it'll group on the bullseye and if it'll give me that kind of confidence I'm gonna aim right for that chrome dome target on the left side I think I can connect three shots to rule them all oh my fucking hobbit if she dies, she dies. Oh, couldn't be more perfect. 
perfect, dude! Yo! Yes! The shot that will live in infamy! Hell yeah, dude! I cannot believe that! Absolutely guaranteed dead nuts, almost like to the inch, the, the, the quarter of an inch where I was aiming. Ah, my improv skills go right out the window when I'm excited, but I don't give a shit because I can't fake it. This is too much fun. Still here, my uh, leaky Zeus is probably going to leave this thing completely depleted in no more than 12 hours time, but she works now, sun is shining, we're having a good day. Red target, right side. These lighter weight 600 to 700 grain slugs are bringing the heat. We have got to buy some more of these so that we could do a proper crowning test for you guys. All I keep thinking is, damn, my f***ing estate sale is going to be lit. Right, right. Hey, you know what? The one on the left side, Chrome Dome, look lo looks lonely there. I got to flop it. Last round I have. Here we go. Disappeared. Yes! Hey, you know what? If you're gonna have one round to rule them all, that's the way to go out, baby. Hell yeah, brother. This episode was made possible by an incredible show of support by an absolute flood of subscribers. Terry Fox at Fox Air Power, thank you for the Zeus very much. Jim S, thank you for the air tank very much. KRS-SC.com, thank you very much for the incredible ammo. And thank you very much to each and every single one of you, the loyal subscribers of this channel, for hanging out with me on this episode. I think it's going to be an absolutely incredible place to go ahead and end today's episode. But if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more. With that notifications button so that you can stay current on these videos as well as when new videos come out. If you really like this video, make sure you share it so that somebody else can see it. And I'll catch you boys in the next one.